So, um, this is something I want to say. So, why I gave, um, Dollar Tree a two weeks notice and, and I said this up front to the store manager is because you don't really know if the next place you go to lets you go all of a sudden thinking you're not good enough or it winds up totally not working out, you know. Um, so what I've been thinking was this, and I've seen it with other people that I know, another person I know, um, they got let go of at more than one actual factories, and they were downright depressed about, you know, they can work their butt off for the company, and it still is not good enough. Um, and with what I've learned after what happened to to me with Woodman's, I worked my tail off. I was moving fast like they'd want, and they still thought it wasn't good enough. So what did I do is I kind of learned, well, if whether it would be... Hy-Vee or TJ Maxx, you know. Um, if there, if I don't have physically too many complaints, and there's only like very minor complaints, let's say, you should just stay there till the day they you retire, you know. Um, just because it's like you don't want to sit your job jumping a lot and. You know, it does get stressful if you go to a retailer and if you're there for almost 90 days and then they decide, well, eh, we don't really want you here. And they say, there's your door. Mm, goodbye. You know, and you're sitting there crying because you worked your, your tail off for the company and they let you go. So... So from what I learned, you know, and, and it's like, you know, in the one manager at Dollar Tree told me, agreed with me, yeah. Dollar Tree, if they were to up their wage, you know, like to 15, 16 an hour, people would stay. You know, and I'm like, yeah, and I told her flat out that. It's not really that bad working here. That was the only thing I say was bad was the pay, you know. And, and that's where I was thinking. It's like, um, this way I could go back to Dollar Tree if I had to. I don't want to say I won't be going back. I'm just saying you, you don't know. You know, it's one of the things that only, only God knows, you know. I don't know what's going to happen once I either go to hy or TJ Maxx. I still have not heard anything back from hy because it's like, you open on the 28th, but... You haven't gotten a hold of me, and you told me that I was going to be getting an, a date for orientation. I have not heard nothing yet. Yeah. So when I filmed this, it was Monday night of September 20th, 2021. You know? Um, yeah. So, and... And that's just the point, you know, if it all of a sudden does not work out at, most likely it's going to be TJ Maxx, I would probably just talk it over with my husband and say, you know, if you go back to Dollar Tree and just, you know, worst case scenario, you, you just go get a second job, you know, um, it, you know, it, it's best to, you know, you gotta be like that, because now I'm even getting the feeling, you know, yeah, I gave Menards a two weeks notice, but I get the feeling they don't really want me back either. 
but you know and what's what Woodman's done to me, that's what scares me with um if I take a job at Hyvees, are they gonna do the same thing as Woodman's, you know? So